teachers have read it. What was the best excuse for being late? That turned out to be true. I had a student whose father had died and had not done any homework or prep for the geography class. From what I heard the teacher scolded him for not doing so, but the student didn't want to say anything, presumably sensitive issue, so his best friend shouted at the teacher don't you have any shame. His father died last night and the teacher said I don't care. There was an audible gasp and I was in the next room. Needless to say, that teacher is no longer employed here. My sophomore year in high school. Dad died. I missed a week of school. When I got back. I tried to turn in my English assignment that was due the week I was out. Teacher wouldn't accept it said it was late. I told her my father had just died and that's why I was out. She said. I know. But it's still late. Went home told my mother. The next day. The principal. My guidance counselor and the super independent had all contacted my teacher to rip her a new one. She had to accept my assignment. She was salty about that the rest of the year. That's craziness. Teachers like that should not be teaching. I agree. She was punishing me for something I had no control over. <laughs> my auto teacher let me practice removing and adding the tires on his vehicle. The next morning it was about 20 minutes into first period and no sign of him. He comes running into the classroom out of breath and his hair is all messed up. He points at me and says you. What is a torque wrench used for? I respond with I don't know. He says I know you don't know. Turns out one of his tires came off while driving down the highway. Honesty that's on him. You're an idiot if you don't check behind the student on something like that. I mean there is that. Plus he didn't check that the kid fully knew how to do the procedure before letting him do it solo and unsupervised. She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to rehab. She was always late to class because her mom just wanted to sleep in. Problem was if the mom was late or did not go she would have violated her probation and gone to prison. I never marked her late. If she missed anything important she could come in at lunch or after school to make it up. You sound like an amazing teacher. Thanks for all that you do. In that story, it sounds even more like an amazing student. Takes care of her irresponsible mother. Takes care of her sister. Takes care of herself. Manages to make up for anything important that she misses. Hats off to that student, not disagreeing with you. Of course, great students like that also need good teachers who support them. And it sounds very much like Op is one of them. Close bracket. She is the real hero here. I just listened and did what was best for her at the time. Student here. I headed into school early to get some studying done in the library before my night class. I was one exit away when I was caught in a three car accident. Most of the expressway afterwards was gridlock with only one lane left open. I did eventually make it into my lab class 15 minutes late. With a few scrapes and bruises. My professor's reaction was simply oh that was you. Was he the one who hit you? We actually had two students in my math class in college. Get into an accident together right in front of the college. It was the funniest shit we had ever heard. Because the cops wanted to do the whole insurance thing. And what not out in the road and both students basically just told them not to worry about it. They would be sitting next to each other. As soon as they got to class anyways. Not a student. But one of my teaching assistants, when I ran a preschool in West Philly. Sorry I missed yesterday. My friend shot my mom. Naturally. I'm a little speechless. Oh no it's okay. He was aiming for someone else. When I was a manager at a pizza place one of the employees had the same excuse and attitude. Except he was the one who got shot. He lived in North Philly though. It's cool. He said back quote my bad HMM. Well. Okay then. Tis but a scratch your arms off. I was one of about 20 kids who were late to school. We showed up at the school office as a group and when questioned why we were late, we said the school bus blew up. They questioned so the engine blew up the kids know. The whole bus in flames. It blew up there was much conference between the teachers. All of them thinking we embellished the story. Next thing you know, one of the admin staff has the news website open. Very obvious image of an entire bus on fire with a bunch of kids in our school uniform standing in front of it. Our late slip for class read school bus blew up. If that happened I would walk home. If you could walk. 
former student here. Sorry, boss. My stepdad tried to kill us last night, and I had to deal with the cops. Professor just looked at me for a moment and said, Dude do you want to like, go grab a drink, and talk about this after class, man. My English prof was a bro, when I was in college. Um, all good now? Ah, yeah. Dude's been dead now about 8 years. He didn't take care of himself. His alcoholism finally caught up with him. I had to pick the pieces up from what he left behind. And in the process, learned a lot about who I am, and what I can do. It took a few years, to get my head on straight, and learn that life isn't just one big crisis. Lots of time analyzing my reactions and the events I found myself in. Therapy. Psychiatric help. The works. I'm in a much better and healthier place, and that event was about a decade ago. I've blossomed into a weird yet passionate and functional adult. A provider for those that need help. And a mentor and friend. I wish things had been different growing up. But I'm happy with how I turned out despite all the odds. Thank you for asking. What a beautiful response. I'm so glad you are on a good path now. Told me he got pulled over by the cops for wobbly driving on his bike. And they thought he was drunk. Turned out he was just dodging all the slugs on the street. Good man. Watching out for the sluggers. They like to traverse the walkway in front of my house at night. So I always have to shine a flashlight. So I don't step on them. When I was a kid I remember loving woodlice. Because they looked like some weird creature from the dawn of life on earth. Like little trailer bites on something. I'd evidently read some overblown kids fantasy novel that contained a similar expression about something grand. Elves. Or whatever. I don't recall. Because I declared myself friend to woodlice. My parents. Understandably. Thought this was hilariously silly. But I still use the title to myself now even though I'm 40. And I always help the stupid little shits over if I see one struggling on its back or otherwise failing to cope with walking on anything that isn't completely flat, which is their speciality. So that's me. Friend to Woodlice. A guy in my college class missed class one day. The next day he came in with his eye covered up and medical paperwork in hand. Apparently he got pecked in the eye by a chicken. What is it with fucking chickens today? Don't kink shame. Reminds me of the old joke erotic is using a feather. Kinky is using the whole chicken. School sporting event. Kid on our team was late because someone stole his windshield wipers and it was snowing out. Kept having to pull over to the side of the road and wipe off his windshield. Wow. That's a real bastard that swiped his wipers on a snowy day. Not teacher, but pupil. I was in a car crash on my way to school. About 5 cars involved, because some jerk decided to overtake us, since we slowed down coming to a turn. So a trip to the hospital to get checked. And then school 3 hours late. I had small cuts all over my face from glass flying everywhere, and had a really sore shoulder. But my teachers wouldn't believe me until police showed up, because they forgot to get a statement from me. Apparently some of the other involved people died amd the jerk got 8 years in prison. After 9 over 11, my small town high school received bomb threats every week for 2 months. And they decided to make us attend school on a Saturday. Myself and about 5 others showed up for our classes. And every teacher said something, like I can't wait for the excuses on Monday. Most of the excuses were something along the lines of family plans or whatnot. But one kid was made read his dad's note aloud to the class, because our first period teacher thought it was hilarious. In the most down south accent you can imagine. It went something like my son ain't too smart. But he knows you ain't supposed to get punished for someone else being a dumbass. Bought him a six pack. So he was drunk. Y'all can fck off. I wish we had smartphones to record back then. So I could share it. Is this southeast Texas? Yes. I'm not the teacher. But we were told that he had a paramedic student who on their way to write their final exam rolled their car into a creek, picked up whatever books they had out of their car, and ran the rest of the way to class. Obviously got there late and in tears. You better believe they had a different exam date. I missed my sad once because the school bus got stuck in the ice. It was a residential school, so they didn't take snow days. When I was student teaching, I was late because there was bunch chickens in the middle of the road. They wouldn't move at all. This is in the middle of a city of 200. 
0.0000 people. Freaking chickens. I finally get to school and profusely apologize to my mentor teacher and I told her why I was late thinking it sounded ridiculous. She said, yeah, those chickens are fucking assholes. They surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about. Apostrophe. Yeah. Those chickens are fucking assholes. They surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about. They were protesting the McChicken sandwich. I had a 6 year old turn up late to her lesson and blurt out sorry I was late. I had to color in a bunny. Seems fair. Can't blame her. Coloring the bunny is an important job after all. I imagine catching the bunny first took a while as well. In high school I biked to class. One day I hit a rock and ate absolute shit. I obviously got to class late. Before I could say a word my teacher stopped class and said thank you for finally joining us. Why are you so late? I raised my heavily bloodied hands and elbows. It must have looked bad because she audibly gasped and rushed me to the school nurse apologizing non-stop the entire way. Edit, my B. I'm not a teacher.